brain is divided into three parts, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. The hindbrain is made up of three separate parts of the brain, the medulla, the pons, and the cerebellum. The cerebellum functions are balance and coordination. The pons regulates body movement, attention, sleep, and alertness, and the medulla regulates heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing. Now the midbrain is involved in hearing and vision, eye movement, attention, sleep, and arousal. And the forebrain, the forebrain is divided into four major parts. The thalamus, which sends sensory information. The hypothalamus, which is involved in behavior. The limbic system, which is involved in learning, memory, emotion, hunger, sex, and aggression. And the cerebrum, which is involved in memory, language, emotions, thinking, complex motor functions, and perception. In this clip, I lose my balance and my cerebellum is doing a lot of work with balance and coordination. Also part of the midbrain is the pons, which um, is involved in movement. So the cerebellum and the pons help me maintain my balance and make sure that my feet and my hands touch the ground before any of my, the rest of the body hits the ground. And this is mainly in the midbrain. In this clip, my forebrain is the main control. is involved with complex motor movements, such as that front flip, and also me kicking this ball around. All these parts of the brain help humans learn new skills, protect us from danger, control other parts of our body. Now in a normal human, this is all sweet and dandy, but if you are having problems with your behavior and you feel you are more aggressive, you might want to have a look at your hypothalamus because that is involved in behavior. If you have something wrong with that, it could really mess you up. Now, if you have problems with attention, this could be your pons, which uh, regulates a lot of different body functions, but uh, also regulates attention. Some disorders with attention are uh, ADHD. Next up is the nervous system. Now, the nervous system is split into two separate parts, the central nervous system and also the peripheral nervous system. Nervous system is made out of neurons, which are little cells that transmit messages. There are two types of neurons, sensory neurons and motor neurons. Motor neurons connect to your muscle tissue um, that can tell a muscle to move at a specific time. Sensory neurons are what is all around your body. Um, that's how you can sense a hot stove or cold. The peripheral nervous system lies outside the central nervous system and it is responsible for sending messages from the central nervous system to all parts of the body. The role of the somatic nervous system is to transmit sensory messages to the central nervous system. There is also the automatic nervous system which is involved in reflexes. The automatic nervous system is divided into two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for stress by suppressing digestion, increasing the heart rate and respiration rate and elevating blood pressure. The sympathetic nervous system is activated when someone has to do a stressful ta task and prepares the body for flight, fight or flight response. Parasympathetic nervous system 
restores energy after the action has occurred. If someone is experiencing constant stress or anxiety, the first place to look would be the nervous system. Lastly is the endocrine system. The endocrine system is made up of glands that secrete hormones that can regulate anything from growth, activity levels, and also moods. The first and most important gland in the endocrine system is the pituitary gland. It is beneath the hypothalamus in the brain and it is about the size of a pea. The gland is called the master gland and it is stimulated by the hypothalamus. It is responsible for the secretion of many hormones that affect behavior. The next gland is the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is located in your neck area and the hormone that it secretes is thyroxin, which um, controls metabolism. Next up on the list are the adrenal glands. They are located just above your kidneys. They secrete a hormone called adrenaline, which helps you in the fight or flight response. The next glands are the testes and ovaries. They uh, secrete hormones testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. In adolescence, testosterone aids in growth of muscle and bone, sex drive, and also self-esteem. In adolescence, disorders can be passed down from the genes of their parents. These disorders include ADHD, depression, or severe anxiety.